Thanks everyone for making the trek out here into the countryside today. Actually, before I get too deep into the speech, I should come clean. I'm not too much of a public speaker. <laughs> so much so, Zoe's actually signed me up to do a public speaking course. Unfortunately, it's not till mid-November. So, who knows how this will go. Actually, can someone do a count of how many times I say um? <laughs> Zoe, from the time... From the moment I first glimpsed you, glimpsed you striding furiously around the factory, the velocity of your ponytail's back and forth motion <laughs> serves as an unmistakable gauge of your determination and furiousness. <laughs> I thought to myself, this is the Sheila for me. <laughs> oh. I guess to Zoe's bridal party, thanks gals for getting her calmly here today. Brandon, I didn't forget you, I was including you in the gals champ. <laughs> thanks again to everyone that's travelled ages, all the rays from beautiful Iowa, the tourism capital of America, and a couple of my old mates, Chris and Devon, that have come all the way from Vancouver. Thankfully, they're not making speeches. I'm sure those speeches will include, cover off the reason why you don't, in your early 20s, spend a week in Vegas. <laughs> Oh, and I guess, Steve, thanks for coming back from Canada, but we won't get into those circumstances. <laughs> Zoe, I'm looking forward to the future together as equals, and equals where she bosses me around and Alfred about. Uh, no, it's really great that Zoe is joining me and Alfred in being a Condi. So here's to the newest Mrs. Condi. Yeah. <laughs>